Alright, how's everybody doing today? How about our Jaguars? Do not five turn two, this pretty. down. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Jaguars coming up this Sunday in Pittsburgh. Um, I think we're going to go up there and get a dub. we better all the way around. Our defense is better. Our offense is better. We have a better quarterback. Um, they ain't got much of a running game. They kind of kicked it off last week with Najee Harris, but he still only has 300 yards rushing. We have a, a great um, defensive line that stops the, for stopping the run. We are getting pressure on the quarterback, too. Um, Kenny Pickett. He's uh, thrown for 1,200 yards this season, not having a, a pretty season at all. Trevor Lawrence is up around 1,600 yards. He's a whole game ahead of him. Um, <clears throat> you got George Pickens. He's got 500 yards this season. He's a number, their number one receiver. Our slot receiver has almost 500 yards this season. Um, we're, our tackle leader on the other side of the ball for you, Aluakon, he has 81 tackles this season. Their tackle leader is Micah Fitzpatrick with 52 um, their interception leader, Levi Wallace, has two interceptions. Our interception leader, D. Will, has three. Um, Darius Williams, for those who don't know. Um, we're, we're better all around the ball. Um, they got grit. They shouldn't, they shouldn't be where they're at right now. They're four and two. I mean, I know it's the NFL, and it's an anything goes, any given Sunday type of league, but, um, they're a team that I believe should be two and four right now. I think that the Jaguars have have won the games that they've won outright. I think they're every bit of a, a, a six and one team, really. I think they should have beat the Texans. <clears throat> that was a fluke game. Um, I, I don't know what happened there. We lost on all three phases, but that's a whole another story. Um, we have in a good history against the Pittsburgh Steelers. We have a good history at their stadium. Um, we tend to we tend to play them tough no matter what. So and with the team that we have, I think that we're gonna go up there. We're gonna jump out to a big lead on them, and you know, seventeen to three, seventeen to seven at half. And I think that that we're gonna clean some stuff up. That I think we're gonna hold on to that lead. They're gonna make a push in the fourth quarter because they're the Steelers and they're not gonna give up easy. But I think by the fourth quarter. We're going to be up uh, 24 to 10 when we hit the fourth quarter, and, and by the end of the game, uh, 27 to 27 to 20 will be about the ending line. Right now, we are at minus three on the betting line. They, we are favored to win by three points. That should stay the same. Um, I think Travis Etienne is going to go up there. He's going to have a great game. We're going to have Walker Little and um, Cam Robinson side by side on that game, and that's been. A huge problem for the offensive line not getting rolling is is that everybody has been injured <clears throat> in that Saints game for the for the few plays that that Cam Robinson and Walker Little was side by side. You know the protection looked or the protection looked real good. It was at, excuse me for the Colts game when they was side by side. The protection looked real good. Things started to to fold up. You know after after he went out the game, but. The next week, without Walker Little being there, um, Cam Robinson and that put-together line didn't let Trevor get touched. So I believe that the Saints game was kind of the coming-out game for the Jaguars' offensive line. <laughs> and we're going to be even better this week. I think that our offense is, a, is coming out in this game. Um, <clears throat> Zay Jones is going to be uh, – com- excuse me. Zay Jones is going to be coming back um, – he he's our third down killer, and with the line being re, you know rejuvenated with the guys coming back, we're gonna be getting them third and one, third and twos. Trevor's gonna have more time. He's gonna have Zay Jones. He's gonna have Et and able to pick up them them few yards. Um, I think the defense is gonna get some sacks. I think Josh Allen will come through with some sacks. I don't think their running game is gonna do nothing. I think uh, Najee Harris. He's I don't. I don't believe he's a really good running back. Um, he's he's had a good name coming in, but he ain't done nothing that I've seen so far. And Trayvon Walker, what he ain't is a sack machine, but what he is is a wrecking ball off the end that stops these running backs from getting outside. He stops them from getting inside. He's, he's the run killer. 
Um, I know Aiden Hutchinson, he's pretty, you know, he gets sacks. He's got that Nick Bosa look. But our guy's pretty dang good, too, and he is a, a big reason that our defense is where it's at right now. And he's a big reason Josh Allen is where he's at right now. I, I do believe at the trade deadline that they should go out and get him an edge rusher, um, move Trayvon inside, uh, defensive tackle. That's what defensive tackles are. They're run stoppers. They're pocket pushers for them in that are pretty and do get to the quarterback. He's a great player, but I think he is good. He, he is going to make his mark from the inside, and the Jaguars need to open their mind up to a trade and to moving him to the inside. Um on the on the back end this week, Kenny Pickett not being able, not having a run game is going to open us up for some interceptions. Um, I think we're going to get a, a turnover in the defense, in the back end of the defense, and it's going to be because they're going to be frustrated that they can't run the ball, and uh, and uh, he's going to be throwing into some tight windows. That we're not going to give up nothing deep he's gonna have to throw it underneath and he's gonna get frustrated like Derek Carr did and, and give one away um we're gonna go up here to Pittsburgh we're gonna come home six and two we're gonna have that extended by when we come off of it we're gonna be healthier than we've been all season we're gonna be ready for the stretch in San Francisco we're gonna punch you in the mouth when you come down here Brock Purdy you ain't seen nothing like the back end you're about to see down here in Jacksonville Florida so bring your A game when you come and mess with the Jaguars because we're on top of things. Football fans, please hit like and subscribe.